Alrighty, I'll pick and right up where we left off at the March of the White Mist. We're gonna make our way down here. Um, this guy's getting punked into a tree. That's not okay, especially he's a fellow monkey brother. And we help him out. Turns out uh, he is a seller, a purveyor of goods. He is the guy that we talk to when we want to upgrade our flasks, um, add little things to it, make it stronger. Bingo, bango, bongo. He's the guy. Okay, so that's super fun. They add it right in the storyline here. So he sells stuff, we buy stuff. You can upgrade your flask whenever you have the right materials. Right, what are we really here for? This guy, a white clad noble. Fucking cooking. I'm gonna cook his ass and whoop it. Okay. Uh, okay, alright. Well, shit. Fucking stop. Alright. Holy shit. He's so fast. Stop. We can be friends. Uh, no friends. Now's the time. Your ass is mine, bitch. After so many deaths, it's time. Yeah! Dodge that shit! Boom! Power strike! Absolutely fucking crippling. No way he survives that. Easy mode. Give me my souls. The fuck are you talking about? Whoa, whoa, what, what, what do you mean? Who you truly are? No, 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 no. Oh my fucking god, a second fucking phase. Disgusting! So, now's the time. We've learned everything. After those deaths, we've learned how to fight him. So, this fight is, he's very quick, he's got a very long reach with that spear, he does a bunch of water arts and shit. So, absolutely, you're gonna want to be smart, do your dodges. I land a sided with that rock to get out of the way. But, uh, you just wanna dodge at certain moments. Uh, there's, the power moves don't work here, right? He's charging up your power attack and smacking him is not gonna fucking be effective. You need to get these combos off and dodge while you're going. Uh, use your powers, use your abilities. I'm saving... I'm saving my last shifting form for the second phase, since I know there is a second phase now. Uh, so right when that happens, BAM! I shifted into the second form because you get a health pool of that. This doesn't take into account your actual health. You get the health of this transformation. So we use it to our full advantage here, uh, especially because one time I did transform at the end of the other fight, and uh, the transformation was gone by the time uh, I watched the cutscene. So it doesn't stay through the cutscene. Um, so just absolutely cooked him here, using the right forms, using the right tactics. One of the things where you want to get close, don't let him cast off a bunch of his shit. He fights like millennia um, in Elden Ring and just has a bunch of watery dash type shit. Uh, he doesn't heal though, thank god. That would be horrible. But he's the first boss I've encountered with a second phase, so he has by far been the toughest little challenge. So hit him with all your shit. Be sure to use your combos. You can stagger him every once in a while. Heal up. Take the right opportunity to heal up, too, because he does, like I said, he his gap closers. He's quick. He's a little snakey snake, son of a bitch. Uh, so we're just going to keep going here. We're going to keep smacking him around, keep trying to hit him. Uh, we take a lot of damage, a lot of hits here. Um, sometimes the controller doesn't respond when I want it to. It's not my fault. I'm better. And he gets cooked. He's just fucking bad. You thought two phases was enough? Nah, try having three next time, okay, pussy? Moving on. Absolutely cooked him. Feels really good. Took a little bit to beat him. Probably the toughest fight in terms of a second phase and not realizing he had one, so I burned everything at the beginning there. But, as with everything, continue to explore. Don't go right to the cave. Go on to the other side over here. You will come across a nice little clearing here with five little enemies. You want to wipe all these motherfuckers out. Just smack them with the staff. I was kind of worried here a little bit because I didn't have any health, but... It doesn't matter because, like, you, you spawn back at the shrine, so it's fine. And this is the third bell, okay? Um, those all. The, if you watch all the other videos, you saw that we got the other two bells from the bosses we beat. Apparently, if you get three, you get transported here to the ancient Guangin Temple. This is like a secret boss, a secret, not so secret boss. Uh, because if you listen, every time you hit one of the bells, the guy tells you, Ooh, hey, maybe there's three of them. And even after you kill the serpent guy, he says, Hey, what about the bells? So it's, it's a secret, but not really. So... When you get in the temple, explore it. There's a couple of chests you can open up. Make sure to upgrade your stuff. This is where you can upgrade your weapon. Uh, you can get a little bit better armor. The armor he lets you upgrade into here allows you to do more damage in water. It's not going to matter this fight. But uh, even those extra points in defense really do help. Now, thankfully, we did fuck up the Wandering White. Or Wandering Wither. The Wandering... Whatever, dude. This is just a golden version of that big golden bitch, right? Instead of a blue big baby-ass bitch, it's a golden big baby-ass bitch. He's kind of got the same movesets with a little differences here and there. He's a bit stronger, obviously. And, um... He has a, a, a different feature that I didn't see with the other guy. He does have these little zombie guys that stick around here, but it's the same kind of effect. He uses the same kind of attacks. Uh, he has the little the little waves. He has the little finger gun thing he shoots you with. He has the claps. He jumps around and stomps. I see there's his friend. I used him. Fuck him. Um, so you just start whooping his ass, right? Poise break him, poise break him. Hit him with the power strikes. That shit absolutely hooks. 
So when you get into about to half, right? I was I was ready for phases at this point because they, they got phase bosses. So he's just gonna fucking float up there. And you're like, what the fuck's going on here? All his little zombie dudes are gone. Why? Where where are they at? My gamer instincts kicked in. My big brain, my smooth brain started to take over and I realized this motherfucker's pulling these bitches to him to probably heal. So I just started instinctively smacking this shit. Um they're, they're, they're one taps, so don't use like your heavy attacks on it. Don't use anything that's going to slow you down because he's pulling a lot of zombies at once. And if they, if they do come in contact with him, they do heal him. So if they, uh, if they get to the point where they, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they, they bend the knee, uh, he's going to get some health out of it. So basically, you're just killing these, stopping these zombies from giving him some, uh, some go juice. Otherwise, you're going to have to fight him at full health again, I'm guessing. Um, so he did get a, a, a couple of points here, but nothing I couldn't manage. So then he comes back down to earth, and then you start smacking him again. Hit him with paws, fucking smacking him around, dodging around. That fighting that first one and beating him and just fucking fighting him 500 times actually really helped me conquer this guy really quickly. This first try, one and done. Probably because I'm better. I'm just talented. Fucking just absolutely skillful with the control in my hands. Uh, see, he's doing that fucking shatter shock earth wave bullshit. Thank God we transformed this other state. We didn't get to use it as much, but we did get to use the health pull on it to tank those shots. Uh, if, if I was just the monkey here and I tanked those shots, I would probably would have died, uh, and I would have been very, very upset. Um, but, obviously, that didn't happen because we're awesome. Uh, so he's going to charge up again, dodge it. You can dodge the inside, dodge the outside. I got lucky on that one because he did knock me out of those exploding corpses. Um, so it's definitely a better, stronger version of the big blue bitch. Um, it's just a golden, a golden bitch who's just He's just fucking, god, he's so annoying. Just, just look at it and it bothers me. Um, so you just keep poisoning him, keep breaking him, keep smacking him. Like I said, you know, learn the fight, learn the openings, learn when you can do what you're going to want to do. Make sure you have your upgrades. Use all your powers. Uh, use your powers early, too. Don't, don't feel the need to save, uh, especially your freeze, because that'll get you killed. Okay? Uh, and stuff recharges. So after you beat him, after you smack him around, he goes, oh, no. And then... You, uh, you go ahead and release that spirit there, and you get a fireproof mantle. This is a legendary piece of gear um, that you can use when you build up enough points to negate fire damage. So it's very, very, very useful, I would assume, is why we can get it. So then, once that is done, you're ready to make your way back into the main area, the main cave. Um, I'm going to put a video out for all the other bells, all three, just in case you missed them. Um, but they're, they're pretty obvious. They don't really hide the bells. Honestly, you kill a couple bosses and then there that first one is the is the flame spirit guy That's right where that bell is uh, the second one is the serpent the purple serpent dude you kill um, There's the bell there and then that third one is right here after you kill this guy, so uh, They're not super super complicated. These enemies are a bit stronger here in the cave. He, they dash around a lot more They're not as, uh, as mind-numbing as the other enemies But you know explore everything because you need all these materials and all these mats and all this stuff to craft like your armor Your upgraded weapons all of it and, 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 and we're not going to shy away from skill points, okay? We, lo we love that shit. It feeds our souls. So body these guys, and then you're able to get to the shrine here. And that's as far as we made it in this video, guys. I mean, fuck, that shit took forever. Good luck to you guys. I hope you guys absolutely fucking dominate. Stay tuned for part four. You already know it's going to be on the way. Good luck to you guys out there. Happy Kongin'.